Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 736. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Excel Magic Trick 736 to 739, click on the link directly below the video. Hey, in this video, we have um, some rebar, and these are all the sizes of the pieces that we can buy, and we need to cut it into three foot pieces. And we want to see not only how many pieces we can get, so from a three foot we could get one piece, we also want the waist, which would be zero here. This piece, uh, the next size up in the ones we can buy, we'd get one piece cut into three, but we'd have waist of two feet. So we need a formula for number of pieces, a formula for waist, and we want to conditionally format any pieces of rebar that have zero waist. All right, so the first problem is um, number of pieces. So I'm going to use uh, a formula, equals, and I'm going to say, hey, the full piece divided by whatever length we're uh, cutting it into. And then I'm going to hit the F4 key to lock that cell reference, row reference locked, control enter, and then I'm going to double click and send it down. So now wait a second, what's going on there? That's not one. That should be like uh, zero or two. Actually, the decimals, if we increase the decimals here, we can see that gives us 0.3 and 0.7. That was formatting, just making it look like it uh, was a one there and a zero there. But what we really want is a, a zero here, a zero here, and a one here. So I'm going to, with these cells still highlighted, the active cell, I'm going to hit the F2 key and I'm going to edit this. Now I'm going to use the int. The int will give us the integer part. So here will give us 1, here will give us 2, here will give us 2. It all, int always goes down. So down from 2.7 to the 2. All right, and now I've edited this formula, so I'm going to hold Control and Enter to populate all of the cells there with the new edited formula. Now pieces, I probably don't need decimals there, so I could decrease this. Right, so there's our pieces. Now, what about waist? So here we have zero waist, but here we're going to have two feet of waist. Well, there's a great function called mod. Now, this is the bottom part of the fraction, and this will be the top part. So I'm going to say 5 divided by 3. What's the remainder? Really, it's one piece with a remainder of 2. So that's what the mod does. It gives us that 2. So I'm going to say the number comma, the divisor, that's going to be the bottom part of our fraction or denominator, and I'm going to hit the F4 key to lock the row reference. So when we copy it down across the rows, it's locked. Control Enter, double click and send it down. Now, <laughs> I don't want anything here, right? That's correct. That's correct. So everything else is correct, but I really don't want to show anything because I have, I'm, I'm not going to get this piece, so I want a blank there. So I'm going to amend this formula. I'm going to say if this right here, two cells to my left, is less than, and I can't get that E2 there, so I'm going to click in E1 and then down arrow. So I got the E2 there, so I'm going to hit the F4 key to lock it going down. That's the logical test. Comma, well, if that's true, that this is less than that, what do I want? Value of true, double quote for nothing or blank. Comma, and then the value of false, that'll be our mod. Control Enter, double click and send it down. So now that's uh, looking good. Uh, maybe I want to decrease the decimals there too. Now the final piece to this is I want this and this and this all to have, anytime we have waste of zero, I would like to show a color, some, some highlighting. So I visually I can type any uh, desired length here and it will immediately show me which one of these pieces has zero waste. I'm going to highlight from this corner all the way down. The active cell is right here. Now I'm going to build a formula and I want to find out whenever it's zero here. And actually I probably don't want to do zero because maybe the waist is one and that's the smallest waist. So really what I want, if I want the whole row to be highlighted, I need to say is this cell for this row equal to the min of this? So that's what I'm going to do. 
And when you build a true-false formula like this doing conditional formatting, you got to build it from the point of view of that active cell right there. Now I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Alt-O-D. And I'm going to say New Rule, Formula, and I'm going to build a formula here. Now, I'm building the formula for, as if it's in this cell, and I'm going to copy it over and down. But really, for each row, I need to, to look at that cell right there. So I'm going to, I'm not trying to fit this on the screen. There we go. I'm going to say that, and I'm going to lock it just with the column reference lock. So I'm going to hit the F4 twice. That way, it's being built from this point of view. It gets copied over. It's always locked on that cell. But when it moves down, no dollar sign in front of the 2, so it moves down to the next uh, item right here. So whenever that's equal to min, open parentheses of this whole column locked in all directions. Close parentheses, so that formula right there will work. Format, uh, I don't know, maybe fill red or green for go, but I'm going to use so font. Click OK, click OK, click OK. So there we can see. And let's try this. So uh, now we got two, right? All right, so a lot of them have zero waste. What about uh, seven? All right, so there's one. And notice the, the if turned all these off, so we were not even interested in those. But the uh, min, or our conditional formatting, says it's either an 8 or a 15. And in both case, the least amount of waste is 1 foot. Now, actually, this doesn't, if you were cutting to precision and you had to take into consideration the width of the saw or something like that, uh, this this would not work. You'd have to amend it. But for uh, you know, a quick cut, uh, we are definitely going to, that formula will work right there. All right, we'll see you next trick.